Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. Today's video, we're out on a field trip. And for those of you that might recognize the background behind me, that's right. I'm back at Toft HQ. So today is Thursday, the 8th of June. And tomorrow there is a crochet workshop at Kew Gardens. So Toft hold a number of workshops throughout the year at Kew Gardens, the Natural History Museum and other places. And I've very kindly been allowed to come along and film behind the scenes to show you all what happens in the run up to the show and on the day of the show itself. So if you've been here for a while, you will know that I came to visit Toft HQ last year and Kerry and the team were very gracious with their time, showing me behind the scenes about how everything works here at Toft. And I will link that video down below in the description box if you haven't yet watched it. Today's video then, I'm kind of continuing my internship that I started last year and we are off on a field trip. So I've come to HQ today to catch up with Kerry and the team and to find out a bit more about the show prep. So I'm going to spend some time in dispatch, I believe, and help wrap up some of the bouquets of yarn that we're gonna use at the workshop tomorrow. And then I'm gonna have a crochet lesson to learn how to make part of the plant that we're making at the workshop and I'm going to be joining Team Toft at Kew Gardens tomorrow and be part of the workshop so I'm super excited to be um, invited along and thank you of course to Kerry and the team for allowing me to come and film so lots to try and pack into this video um it will probably be split over a couple of days so we'll catch up with the team now and see the show prep here at hq and then um, head to london this evening and then i'll film behind the scenes tomorrow there are 180 people i believe come in to the workshop and we are in one of the big greenhouses i can't remember the name of it it begins with t i'll tell you more about that later i've forgotten the name already um, but we are in one of the, uh, the greenhouses, so I'll be able to film and show you some of that and show you what goes on behind the scenes at these shows, uh, at these workshops. So let's go and uh, join the staff meeting. So we've just had the morning meeting um, with voiceover music, just in case there's any secrets that I'm not allowed to show you. Uh, and I'm now wandering to dispatch, which since I was here last time, has now got a sign on the wall. Should we walk backwards? This could be dangerous, couldn't it? Uh, and we're going to start <laughs> wrapping the bouquets. There are 180. Have I said that before? There's 180 bouquets to be wrapped. Let's go. Okay, we're in dispatch with Emma and Evie and the other Emma. Two Emmas. <laughs> Two Emmas. And I said, we've got 180 bouquets to wrap. So I'm having a bouquet lesson. Apparently, Emma Bunny is the best bouquetier. <laughs> Although Harriet has just arrived. And there was a suggestion that Harriet is the best bouquetier. <laughs> I'm not going to be the best bouquetier, but I'm very excited to have a go. <laughs> right, I'm going to time lapse you and then you can see what we're doing. I'm now with Evie. And we're going to pack some actual boxes and then we'll wrap them. So this is our two meters of wire that we're going to add. Yeah, uh huh. Yep. And then we've also got our sneaky surprise, which I can't open yet. <laughs> and then just add some stickers to our fill tab. And then we've got the yarn. So we're going to have 100 grams of. Food. And then... 
50 grams of magenta. Try and wiggle them in correctly. <laughs> nice and neat. And then, oh, you've already done it. So in here we've got the <laughs> eyes and a rainbow stitch marker as well. Awesome. Plus then Emma's counting bags. <laughs> Which then, if we scoot around, anyone for stuffing? <laughs> So how much stuff in per bag? Because you're weighing these out on your hand. Yeah, so between 100, with the bag, it's 165 to 170. Uh -huh. And a hook. And a hook. And your hook. The most important bit. Yes. <laughs> this is crazy. We just curl up and have a little sleep in the stuff. You can, Jay has before. <laughs> <laughs> also, ah, and then here's one that Harry has finished. Just making it pretty, of course. It's very important. There we go. Perfect. Are you going to talk? Do you want me to talk? No, it's okay. We can just chit chatter. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> About right, but not exact. So I lost count from the middle. I have to recount again. Okay. Um, well, this takes okay. up to 20. Okay. So three layers of tissue. Yeah. And then, around about somewhere in the middle. Yeah. And we're folding it all into the center. And we have a neatly made label. You can tell you've done a few, you make it look so easy. <laughs> I have done a few in my time, it's true. And I'm all about making a nice bow. So quite often, just make it nice near the label. Um, just do a little trim at these ends, just make them. Perfect. And that is what everyone's gonna get on the table when they arrive tomorrow. finished packing and I'm now gonna go and find Tash to have my crochet lesson about the leaf that we're making tomorrow but look what I've just found Found the box of patches. <laughs> <laughs> the
the most important box. There's a few I haven't got yet. <laughs> I'm going to get some today. <laughs> That's my plan. Okay, I'm back inside HQ now and I'm with Tash. <laughs> make it extraordinaire. This is a weird angle because you're on the tripod because I'm going to make something in a moment. So we are going to make this. We're not going to make this. I'm going to make a leaf ready for tomorrow. Anything exciting about the leaf? Techniques? Ooh. A few techniques, lots of different stitches. Yes, and something new down the centre as well. Exciting! Right, I'm going to spin you around and then you can watch me make my leaf. Look who I've met! Hello! You haven't grown in a year. No, you haven't. Yeah. Office dog, Jay. Oh, you're just the cutest little... You're just going to stay this small forever now, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh. Every office needs a dog. Don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. my leaf. I've not quite finished my leaf. Weird angle. Um, so there's embroidery to go on um, but I'm going to take my needle and my magenta and in the workshop tomorrow when Kerry demonstrates that for all of the visitors I will do mine at the same time. But you crochet two bits, magenta bottom, green top, and then add on the spine. Love it. And no sewing up. That's the best bit, because you crochet around the edge. So there we go. I'll do a close-up on the actual... Oh, no, let me just grab the plant. <laughs> Should have shown this earlier. So this is what we're actually making. Amazing. This is going to be my first plant. I don't know if I said that earlier. My first plant as well. Apart from the Christmas poinsettia monster. But that's, that, that doesn't count because that's for Christmas. So this is the first one that can live in the house. And I won't be able to kill it. Mark's the green-fingered one, not me. But, yeah. Magenta on the bottom. Love it. Thanks, Tash. You're very welcome. And there we go. I am done. It is half past two on Thursday. 
So we are just wrapping up here. All of the parcels have been um, wrapped up into a bouquet and loaded into the van with all the other bits and bobs that are needed to run the workshop. Kerry and Beth have gone on ahead in the Toft van. They're gonna go and drop everything off tonight and start the setup. Um, I think folks can get into the greenhouse from 8.30 and the workshop starts at nine tomorrow. So I think we've got to call at like half past seven in the morning for um, for Team Toft, which includes me for the day. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head down to London now. There's no point me going up to Toft, back home to Cardiff, across to London. So I'm going to go straight to London. And I'm going to stay nearby overnight um just for ease so yeah it's been lovely to be back here at toft so much greenery and yeah it's just a wonderful place to be in the middle of the countryside so there we go that is day one finished i've wrapped my parcel i've had my crochet lesson oh finger sorry i am all ready for tomorrow's workshop and to join the team so yeah a really fun day so the next bit that you'll see will be at Kew Gardens Good morning, good morning. It's early. 6.37. Um, we are meeting at 6.45. So I'm up, showered, dressed. Customary toft black top for workshops. I'd like to blend in. Yeah, I've had coffee. Could do with some more. And another hour of sleep. I can't even look where to look. Let's go. the temperate house you can see all the foliage it's just it's huge I'll show you the proper setup in a moment um, from on high because apparently ah -ha, there are stairs that we can go up and we can look down no entry I have permission. <laughs> this place is stunning. But let's go wait until you see the setup. A little glimpse through the trees.
So up here, you can see all the canopy. A glorious construction. Evo behind the scenes setup. So, Yantra on the left, Emma, and Rosie. Kerry's writing her final notes for this morning. The team from Q. So, we have this central setup here. So, Kerry will be on the stage there where you can see the black Q with a camera. And then there are tables here in a circle. And then where you can see straight tables, they go up and across. And then down there, I'll show you when we go back down now. But it is just phenomenal, <laughs> this setup. There's the rest of the team just arrived on the buggies. <laughs> you saw it in the time lapse just now. <laughs> this place is huge. You have to get around by buggy. I'll hopefully do some filming outside later on. Um, some final bits of queue. But yeah, amazing. Guests come up can come up here later, so. The crocheters get a chance to wander and have an explore and come up here later on. I think we have that tree. Uh, that one there, I think. We've got a small one of those in the flat. I'm going to go and look at the leaves. I think that's what we've got. Right, let's just go around this way. Look. Tash Harriet. So good. Okay, let's head back down the stairs. And then I'll get some close up shots of the tables. Oh, because I moved just because I decided just to call the actual quite complicated. Okay, so here we are on the table. So we've got an actual plant that we're making. Patches. Everyone gets these three patches on the table. Harriet. Louise the Terrapin. And a yantra. These are the two I haven't got, so I'm obviously gonna have to go rifle and find the box in a bit. <laughs> and then everyone gets the hand tied bouquet that we did yesterday, a signed postcard pattern, and a bag of stuffing. And then there's a few extra bits scissors, pencils, that kind of stuff. So everyone gets this all laid out ready. And I think I'd want to be down this end. So there's a central stage, as you saw from above. So Carrie will be on the stage with a camera on her hands so you can see what she's doing. And then there's speakers and TV screen. So if you're sitting down this end, you can see on the TV screen. But I think I'd want to be down here rather than in the central, the round table bit. I think I'd want to be here amongst the foliage. I think that would be really cool to be crocheting, sitting here. I think folks can just come and sit where they want, make friends, 
with like-minded crochet people. And uh, yeah. It's just amazing. And then more TV screens here. And here, there's Emma. I'm just gonna take this patch now, and that'll be for me. No. <laughs> Hello. I did manage to grab Kerry yesterday because obviously it was a very busy day. Very busy day across the board. <laughs> so I thought I would grab Kerry before the um, workshop starts. So do you want to introduce us to who we're making? Because I, I showed him on camera yesterday a yeah. little bit as I was making my own leaf, but we didn't go into any detail. Okay, so we are making a Maranta Fascinator, which is um, a plant that they do grow here at Kew in the Princess of Wales Conservatory. So everyone that's making a leaf will be able to go and um, take it to the conservatory to see the real plants but we have actually also got them on the tables as well because it is a house plant so that's yep. quite exciting because it means you can have it in your own home i'm going to go see if i can find one later and then see if i can get mark to grow it i'm i'm not the green fingered one mark no, is the green so, fingered and one and the other thing that i will confess is very selfishly we're crocheting this one because i can't keep these alive so i have actually <laughs> owned three of these <laughs> in my life and I don't have a lot of success with these, so I will now have a crochet one. And I think the exciting thing about the design is the fact that it's fully wired. So um, inside we're going to get two meters of wire, um, and that's because it is part of the prayer plant family. Um, and so that means that when the sun goes down, the leaves actually come up like this, and then they come downwards when the sun comes out. And so you can do that with yours because you've got wire inside. That's amazing. Mm, it's really fun. Design. Are you excited? I'm really, I am really excited. <laughs> really excited. I fe it feels like a wedding. <laughs> it does definitely. feel like a yeah. wedding. Yeah, really lovely vibe. The sun's going to come out. I can't wait for the whole day at Cuba. And you were telling me yesterday, 180 people. That's the biggest one you've ever done? 100, not ever. So oh, okay. um, we did do Hope the Whale was actually 350, I think, when we did that in the natural history. Um, but obviously, this is the, the earliest one we've ever done. Yeah. Definite, um, early start, 180 stood an awful lot of people. And it's the first time we've brought the whole team out for years and years and years and years. Yeah. yeah. Should we spin around and then see? There they all are, beavering away, mm -hmm. getting everything set up. And look, I've got a penny. That's <laughs> the most important bit. <laughs> right, thank you very much. I'll let you thank go. You, thank you, you. you want to see, look, my hand, I'm modeling. This is Rosie. Hello. Rosie's taking pictures. <laughs> I am the hand model today. <laughs> Very good Can we there. show folks what you've done over there as well? Yes, yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> Look I at this. <laughs> this is precarious. Professionally put a uh, time lapse camera here. As soon as people start coming in, we're going to uh, record a time lapse of everybody filling up the tables, which should hopefully be really nice. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, an iPhone is balancing. Yes, hopefully it'll stay there. It was a look on Beth's face. You've done what? Yeah. <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> right. More behind the scenes pictures. Okay, it is eight minutes past eight and we're on very specific timings. Folks can come in at 8.30. So it's 8.08 and the team are assembling outside for team photos. So I've come to film the setup. Now I'm back downstairs, I'll show you the setup quickly. Let me spin you around and show you how it all works with the big screen. So we've got the stage set up. And then that's the camera. So you can see my hand on the screen. So Kerry's hands will be here. There's our lovely little plant. And the real one. And then Kerry's got her selection of yarn ready for demo. Someone might be staying at the premiere. <laughs> Leaf ready for the addition of the spines and then obviously the bouquet that everyone's got. So yeah, so that's the setup. Can I video this? That is amazing. 
Because that's chunky now. It's all done in a DK. Yeah, so four yeah, so strands. Yeah. Yeah. And then with the needle felting and the beads on the inside, it's absolutely incredible. Wow. Is it, is it all double knit? You've got Aaron? No. No. <laughs> so it at uh, 45. T minus 10 minutes. And I've had to go and get the factor 50. Because I think the glass roof <laughs> is going to make me burn my head. So I'm going to put some sun cream on. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes content that you folks are all here for. Hi, I'm Angel. I've come from Manchester today to the Toff Workshop. It's Excellent. so fantastic to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you've got to be in a video. You've got to yeah. come and say hi. Yeah. How was your trip down? Oh, it was brilliant. I came last night and I oh, stayed over. So did I. So <laughs> I'm going to go around the gardens and yeah. then go to Buckingham with my Toft Guard and get oh, some pictures. Oh, that's going to be amazing. So be lots of fun. Right. Thank you for saying hi. No problem. And so you'll see them nice and close up. And we've never had such a good setup in terms of being able to see that. Um, but we do actually, we're, we're, we're all here today. So you've never had so many people as a ratio. Um, so we'll also be able to do lots of one to one teaching as well. Right, um, so I just want to introduce the building a little bit so we understand where we are. So we are actually in the largest surviving Victorian glass house in the world um, here at Kew. It is obviously an absolutely phenomenal venue, perfect for crocheting because we can all see what we're doing um, in terms of our stitches and brilliant for soaking up some inspiration um, in terms of what we're crocheting and what we're making today. I'm hoping that we're going to have a lovely morning until 11.30 um, with lots of social time built in as well. Obviously we're going to aim to learn a lot as well, but for us, as much as for you, it's actually about having a really good morning, meeting lots of like-minded people, um, showing your mates, talking about what you like making, so don't feel like you're at school. You're not stuck in your seat, it's not a test. Move around, you don't have to stay where you are. Coffee and tea is available at the end throughout. The loos are just through these double doors at the end here. Um, just past the doors on the immediate left is one that avoids stairs, and then the rest are down a staircase on the right hand side. Um, again, don't feel like you need to ask to leave or anything like that. Move around freely. Now, the team will come to you. Um, so, I'm Kerry, for anyone that doesn't know, who's sitting here and wondering um, what everyone's got out on the table in front of them. I'm Kerry, um, and I am the um, founder and I guess the designer um, behind the top. But the whole team are here and with us um, for the first time in a very, very long time. I'm not going to go through them all at once, um, but I am going to make them rotate. So you'll have them each for about half an hour, a bit like a wedding, we're going to make sure that you'll all see them. Um, so we're going to position about two per table and we're going to move everyone around every half an hour so you will get the chance to meet the whole team. We preempted on your table the patches that mark, the one the people that we don't like the office as often. <laughs> so you've got Harriet, Yantra and Emma, but some of you will have met these people before at workshops, so feel free to swap in and swap out. Um, the team are all here, they're all loaded with plenty of patches. Make sure you have chats with everyone so you really get to know our whole team this morning. Uh, right, so that's my housekeeping, informal style, I've done all of that. Click and flex, I'm just going to mention, we do have click and flex with us for those that ordered them. Um, if you just ask a team member, it's probably easier for them to go and get them for you and bring them to you, because um, there's not too many. And the last piece of housekeeping then is to write on the table, there'll be a piece of paper for each of you and a pencil. Pop your email address down and this means that you will get a digital version of the pattern following this. That will also have video links built in it. Um, and that will be especially important with this one when it comes to the sewing up. Because we're not going to get to the sewing up today, but we're doing something pretty special in this sewing up. And so I've already pre-recorded a full video that will be built in for you for your sewing up when you get to that point. So, let's introduce what we are making today. Um, so today we are going to be making the Maranta Fascinator. Um, which is this plant here, which you all have on your tables. Now, for those on the long tables, it is at the far end of the tables, um, but you have got the actual real plant for inspiration in front of you as well. And what made me choose this plant, really, was three reasons. Um, the first one is it's so striking in, obviously, this pattern that is sitting on top of it. It is really recognisable, and it's using colours that are fantastic together, so we're going to be combining green, lime, and magenta. 
The second thing that I love about this plant, which will make sense when you open your bouquets, is it is actually a plant that um, closes up at night time, so known as a prayer plant. So it lives to show its underneath at the end, and then it opens back up when the sun comes out. All will be revealed yeah. soon. Um, and then the third thing is, I can't keep these alive in my house whatsoever. Uh, they are a house plant. I've owned three. Um, I never managed to make it to survive. Um, so at least I will have a crochet one now that I know will stay forever. But there is also the chance for you to be able to purchase the plants in the Q gift shop. So if you want to have a go at being able to keep the real one alive as well as your crochet one, then if you show your ticket for this workshop at any of the Q shops, you'll get a discount and you will actually be able to take one of the um, Morantel Fascinators home with you. Not anyone that's travelling overseas though. I'm not responsible for you. <laughs> Outside the UK. Uh, just, just spotted you in there. You can also see them here at Q. So if you go to the Princess of Wales Conservatory, which I highly recommend um, as part of your day, the lovely thing is we'll be done before lunch so you can spend the rest of the day at Q. Go and see the actual plants growing there as well. We'll be able to get great photos. So what we're going to make in the workshop today is actually a whole leaf. And I'm going to put it out there and feel pretty confident that honestly I think most of you will be able to walk away with a completed leaf. I really do. That's going to be our mission this morning. So a whole leaf and we're going to do it start to finish. So you'll be able to do all of the detail and the embroidery. Um, and that means that you'll be able to go off on your travels for the rest of the day at Q and take pictures of your leaf as you go along. <laughs> Especially if you do make it to the Princess of Wales Conservatory. And just make sure you tag in Toft and Q Gardens as you go on your travels around Q Gardens. We would, both teams would absolutely love to see what you do once you leave us here this morning. Right, um, in which case, without further ado, I think it's probably time to unwrap your bouquets if you haven't already, and let's take a look through what we've got. lines we're going to be matching your zigzags rather than me setting these on so they'll be in any way in conflict with yours so what you need to do and that's a wrap 11 41 pack down has started because of course the greenhouse is closed at the moment and the public want to come back in so it is packed down quickly look emma's tidying <laughs> and then there's going to be a big photo outside so i want to go and nip outside if i can and get some footage of the photo of the uh, yeah the photo <laughs> Look at these teeny tiny little tiny morag. The sun is crazy. Little tiny morag. And a little tiny bow. They are phenomenal. Hi, I'm Kylie, the vintage pearl on Insta. Uh, I've made these with a 0.5 hook and two strands of anchor embroidery thread. It's absolutely phenomenal. How long did they take you? Uh, so, probably about a week. That's good going. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, normal loop stitch mini, is bad enough. Mini Morag took me less time than four size Morag. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, thank you for letting me film <laughs> Yeah. In the trees. Have fun. 
Yeah, it's been amazing. How you back here? I'm home and it's the end of the video. Boo. <laughs> I had the best time. Could you guess? <laughs> so I've opened up my package. Um, so Kerry and the team kindly let me take one of the packages with me so that I could make my own prayer plant. Um, there she is. Maranta. I'm not going to say the rest of her name. Uh, Maranta. I've made good progress. I made a little start. Um, let me know in the comments below how you would tackle this type of a project. So I was chatting to people as we were, you heard Kerry say earlier in the video that the team moved to the customers, um, visitors. Um, so as we were rotating, um, I thought it was really interesting to get different people's views because we were obviously making, which I'm trying to find, a leaf during the workshop. So this was mine that you saw me make with Tash at HQ. And I was talking to people about how are you gonna make all the other leaves? And I said that I was a process knitter and crocheter. So I like to do all the bits separately. So you can see I've made a few green leaves for example so i said that i would do all the magenta bottoms all the green leaves so i've got a big handful of the purple bottoms here um and then i would sew them all together um or crochet around them all and then i would do all the stems and then all of the the design and you could see some people, they're not, not, not necessarily given it that thought. And I don't know whether I think it, whether it's left side, right side brain and people think differently. But when I said about that was the way I was going to do it, some people were like, what? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. And um, I was with Evie and Emma the Bunny, not Emma the Terrapin, who's technically called Louise the Terrapin on her patch, but it's Emma Louise. Um, so Emma the Bunny was like, oh no, no, I'll make a leaf. And I was like, no, you do them all in bits. And I think we're in, we're, we're in different groups um, and there's absolutely no right or wrong way. But it was a really interesting conversation point as people were making their leaves around the table going, right, what are you gonna do when you go home now? Are you gonna make complete leaves or will you do them in bits? And there were a lot of people in my group of let's do them in bits. And then there were lots of people in Emma's group about no, I will do the whole leaf. I just feel like it's a bit like socks and sleeves. You finish one and you go, oh, I've got to make another one now. Whereas if you do them all in bits, I don't know, it feels a bit more production liney. I thought that was a fascinating conversation as I was chatting to people. Um, so yeah, I'm home and that's the end of this video and the end of my 
field trip with Toft. It was just the most amazing couple of days um, being part of the team. Um, you could see by the smile on my face um, how excited I was that I was there and part of it. Um, yeah, the the workshop and I'd never been to Kew Gardens before. So it was almost a double whammy being able to visit Kew and explore, especially explore with the team afterwards. Um, and you saw we went up into the treetops and we had a little walk around um, and then seeing some of the flowers um, as we were walking back to to the cars, um, seeing how that, how Q was all laid out was just amazing. And that greenhouse, as Kerry said, I think is one of the oldest surviving Victorian greenhouses. Um, and it was just spectacular. And the team were amazing, the Q Gardens team. Um, so I met Georgia, who's one of the events managers and her team who helped Put the event on so you know thank you to to q for hosting it and of course a huge thanks to kerry and the team for making me feel involved and part of the weekend it was just i say the weekend i keep i kept thinking it was like friday saturday but i keep forgetting it was thursday friday that i was there um but part making me feel part of the weekend and um yeah it was just amazing i didn't get to keep my apron <laughs> That would have been a wonderful souvenir. Um, and I don't have my own patch. Lots of people were coming up to me going, you're new, I don't recognise you, which is fine. Like people that don't watch on YouTube and wouldn't have understood why I was there. What's your name? Do you have a patch? And I was like, hi, my name's Martin. No, I'm not an official TOF member. I'm here for my internship um, <laughs> field trip. And um, so, yeah. But if, Kerry, you're watching and you want to make a, a patch, maybe a little brown bear. We can rename Penelope. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just wonderful to meet lots of people. And there was a few people who follow me here on YouTube who I dragged into the video, as you saw. There's a lots of people from Instagram who um, came along to say hi. So it was really, really wonderful that I sit here and I talk about my love of Toft. And it is a genuine love of Toft and the brand and the creations and things that, that Kerry and the team make. And it was lovely to meet other people. Obviously, everyone was there from, uh, everyone was there for Toft to make that. But it was nice that there were people that knew me, that I could kind of meet some of our community. And that was really wonderful when people came up to say hi. Um, so yeah, thank you if you stopped by. Um, but yeah, I hope I did the weekend. I'm gonna keep calling it the weekend, it's easier. Um, I hope I did the weekend justice. I wanted to, film the experience for people that aren't able to make it in person. I hope that I was able to show you the work that goes in at HQ, which is why I was really keen to go back to HQ the day before the event to show the prep and how they get packaged up and all the work that goes into preparing for an event like that, as well as then the kind of the behind the scenes on the day. Because of course, you know, we as customers or visitors, we just turn up to these types of workshops and off we go and we crochet whatever we're going to make um but it's all the work and effort that goes in behind the scenes to make it the successful event that it is really so i really wanted to show all of that build up and i really hope that um i really enjoyed looking back through the footage i'm just recording this end now it's monday morning it's my non-work monday so i'm just recording this end now to stick onto the footage and then i can get this up on youtube but it was really lovely for me to watch back on all the footage and i'm still just in awe of that greenhouse and all the plants and flowers and everything in there and just the whole setup the way the the we had the cross and the central it was just it was just spectacular and if you can go and get along to a workshop then I would 100% recommend it, like to see so many like-minded crocheters um, all in one place with the Toff team around giving their expert advice um, and guidance. It was just wonderful. So if you can get along to a workshop in the future, um, I would 100% recommend you do it. It was just, yeah, the best day out. Um, so I'm gonna spend the rest of the day now, hopefully finishing my leaves. I've got two more green tops to go and then they all need stitching together. So that's kind of my task today. Um, 
I didn't really want to... I, I wrapped this one because it was a dark green one, so I was on dark green. Um, so I haven't fully unwrapped it yet because I don't really want to... I'm, I'm holding on to it for as long as possible. <laughs> so I might try and rewrap it in a little bit. I kept all the bits. Um, so I might rewrap it up in a little bit um, until I need all the bits that are sitting in there. But thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments below what you like to see about or what you like seeing as part of the video. Were you there? Did you spot yourself in any of the footage? Let me know. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It helps the reach across YouTube so more people find the video. And if you're new here and you found me over the weekend because of Toft, make sure you click that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of my future videos. Um, yeah, it was been a great few days. I will be back probably in two weeks time with my sheep to skein video, episode two, where we're gonna do the, the shearing. It might be next week, depend, I've gotta edit all of that video together and there's quite a lot of footage. So it might not be next week, it might be the week after, but then that will be the next video that comes up. Um, so, of course, it just goes without saying a final thank you to Kerry and to the Toff team for making me feel so welcome and for letting me continue my internship. You know, we joked I went last year to Toft HQ and I went around all the different team se uh, sections to see how the Toff magic happened. So that was almost my internship. So I went on a field trip now. So it was wonderful. So thank you very much if you're watching this video for letting me be part of that crazy journey. So... I'm gonna go and get this finished and edit it up and I will leave you lovely folks to it. So until we speak again, happy crafting.